what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and i appreciate you being here today i am back with another fortnite video and today we're going to take an in-depth look at that mobile phone gameplay of fortnite battle royale on mobile phones which looked absolutely epic for sure but before we get into that guys would you like to get your hands on 2800 v bucks Simply make sure you sub to the channel, leave a like on this video and drop a comment down below to be with a chance of winning. It's as simple as that people. Okay, so if you somehow haven't seen this trailer, here it is. looks epic doesn't it yes it does well within the trailer there are only really two snippets we need to talk about and take a better look at as the gameplay looks just like what it does on a console that's because it's supposedly the exact same so for all we know it could be console footage but the few snippets we do see are actually being played on a mobile device i believe an iphone x and are what i want to take a better look at now the first snippet you can see on screen now now from this image we can tell a lot on how this will work the main issue i have with mobile games of this magnitude are the controls the controls can ruin a game for me even if that game's epic and the controls we can basically sum up from this image so first up we have the items bar across the bottom of the screen six boxes five item slots your weapons grenades shields whatever and your pickaxe slot to the left this will make for easy weapon switching you can obviously just touch that weapon you want to be using above these we can see your currently equipped weapon with an ammo indicator next to it this is no doubt how you reload your weapon you are using anyone notice the infinite ammo sign here though now I don't know whether this is just because this is a tester version of the game or this will be the case for all weapons on that mobile device. Can't see this being the case though and I'm pretty certain the shotgun on console and PC doesn't have infinite ammo so I'm guessing this is just because it's a tester version of the game. But we will see people, we will see. Left of the item boxes we can see your inventory button, obviously where you rearrange items and drop ammo for teammates and so forth. On the left of this we can see a slight circle. This will enable you to move in all directions. On the right of the screen where we see this font is, I imagine there will be an invisible box here which will be used to lock in every direction. And we also see next to that three icons. The first one we see is no doubt to aim down sights. So you will click this to be constantly aiming down sights. You won't have to hold it. And it's important to point out as well that space I speak of used to look in all directions will be the shoot button. We can see it here being tapped to swing the axe. No doubt it will be the same to shoot weapons too. So right at the target icon we have the crouch button. Again you will tap this to crouch and tap it again to stand back up. Just like with that target button you'll tap the target to end down sights. Tap it again to shoot from your hip. Below that we see the jump button and just right at the five item boxes we have the build icon. Unfortunately we don't see any of the build inside in action but as soon as we do people I will have you guys covered here on my channel above these three icons on the right of the screen the crouch jump and aim down sights button we have in the top corner the settings button next to the settings button we have what I believe is a chat button so you will be able to chat with other players playing no doubt though through text which is cool on the left of the screen under the map we have what I believe is a switch weapons button. I know we can just touch the weapon we want to use but on the fly this would be a lot easier and would make sense. The only thing I don't see here though is a sprint button but I do believe this might work by maybe using the highlighted corners of that movement circle on the left or maybe even a double tap to enable sprinting. But either way it's definitely here somewhere guys. The hood is a slightly different layout wise to what we are used to on console and PC as far as I can tell. The map is on the top left. Under that we have the storm timer, kill count and survivors left. Just next to the map we have your shield and health bars. Next to that we have your bearings, basically a compass, north, east, south, west. Just below the settings button in your top right we have the materials. So it's all here for sure guys. And you know what? I just cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just going to go out and buy a portable charger for my phone because you know we're going to need it and I might as well prepare myself. But yes people, from what we've seen so far, it truly looks promising. Also as well, before I finish the video, before I forget, last night I made a mistake in my video by saying that they've already started sending out testicles to be a tester to play this game early on your mobile device. I actually misread the tweet from them. The codes have not been sent out yet. 
so you can still sign up to be a tester for the mobile game. All you need is an iOS device and to simply sign up via the Fortnite website which you will find linked in the video description. And guys that is it. I don't believe there is much more to cover from this footage but if I did miss something let me know down below within that comments section. But thanks as always for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really does help me out and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Stay